At this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Good morning, young ones. Some of you are 6'4", but you're still very young. Um, <clears throat> what we're going to talk about today, children, is what happens when you spend a lot of time together in a very close space. It can be difficult sometimes. I, I know that I grew up with two brothers, and there are some days when it rained and we couldn't go outside and play, and I would do something mean to my little brother, and my big brother would, would do something mean to me, and we'd just start fighting, and my parents would kind of separate us. Now, that can be difficult, I know, because sometimes in a house where there's five children like mine, and even though they're a little bit bigger and you expect more maturity, sometimes they still get a little picky at each other. And it's a little frustrating. So, I just want to talk about what do you do if you wake up in the morning and you say hi to your sibling. Hey, how's it going, Emmy? And Emmy walks right past you, doesn't smile at you, doesn't even look at you. And she goes into another room. What should be your first reaction? Trying to be nice to her because something is bothering her. Maybe something's bothering her, Luke. Very good. Yes, Nate? Go tell her you love her. Go tell her you love her? <laughs> yeah, that happens. That's <laughs> good. That does happen sometimes, Emmy. Yeah. Nate, Nate is an RA at Appalachian State University, and I think he sees this too in his dorm. How after a while they kind of get a little picky at each other. He's shut down, of course, because of the coronavirus. But yeah, it's, it's more difficult when you're over people. Luke is a manager at Chick-fil-A, and I think you probably see some workers. Do they all get along all the time? No, no. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, that's true for all of you. So during this time when you're stuck together with each other, one of the things you could do is take everyone's words and actions in the kindest possible way. If you see something that someone is saying to you that you don't like, your first reaction, because you can always control how you react, your first reaction could be, maybe they're having a bad day. How could I help them? Because you can't control somebody else, but you can control yourself. Is this an opportunity where I can show God's love to the people around me? And this goes not just for children, of course. It goes for all people when they're stuck in a close space. Whether it be a dorm or a fast food restaurant. All of that is a great opportunity to show God's love. And let's pray and ask for some help. Heavenly Father, whether we're a husband and wife, whether we're children, whether we're co-workers, sometimes we need help getting along. Satan wants to divide us because he knows that if he can divide us, it's all the more easy to divide us from you. Draw us closer to yourself during this time of Lent when we focus on Jesus' passion and how great His love was for us. And help us to reflect that love to everyone around us, especially the members of our family. Amen. You're excused to go back to your seats.